Hey guys, so I'm going to do a quick video here. There was recently a video put out on the um, Exotac Poly Striker. And it's actually a striker that I have in um, my fire kit here. So it looks like this. Gideon's Tactical just did a video on it. He really didn't like it and he doesn't recommend buying it. Um, he used the side of the scraper. Um, I don't know how easy this is to see, but to go like that. That doesn't really work. What I use is I use like the front of it straight up and down like that. And that works better, okay? So just a little FYI, I know that's been circulating around. Um, he does some great videos, but I just wanted to put my two cents on on the, the experience I've had with that. So I figured I'd do a quick, quick little fire striker video here, just to show. And he said he couldn't get natural fender tinder to go. This is just some wood shavings. I'll take that out of there. It's throwing some pretty decent sparks, but I, I'm not getting the, the chips to light very well. This is just a homemade fire starter here. Let's see if I can get it going. Maybe. So, um, is this something that you want to be caught with and this is the only thing you have? Absolutely not. Um... You know, there's lots of better fire starters out there for the same money. Um, that's something that he touched on as well. And I'm gonna, I got, I'm gonna be having a couple fire or a fire starter coming. That is something that you could be left with. If that was all you had, you would be able to survive no problem. So I'll do a video of that when I get it. But I just wanted to show it does work. For what you pay for it, does it do all it should? Probably not. You know, it's a little overpriced just because it's Exotac. Okay, and that's just something that you gotta know going in. It's nice and compact that the striker fits in to the handle. But if you are using um, the back of your knife and you don't even worry about a striker, then that's that, not that big of a advantage. Um, and that's just kind of what I've seen. Um, so, you know, they're, they're pretty small, they're pretty lightweight, and they're compact. Um, they're something that I keep in a fire kit that is loaded with tons of stuff. That if you can't get a fire kit go or a fire going with the stuff in this kit, then, then you got more problems than not being able to start a fire, you know. So, um, I just wanted to kind of do a quick video. And I also wanted to do a shout out to um, Muddy Tiger Outdoors. He's doing a 400 subscriber giveaway. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know about that and um, go ahead and check out his channel and his video on that. You can comment or do a, a shout out to get in. Um, so, and I think it's going on for about a month. So just FYI about that. Um, by the way, that fire starter that I used was just a cotton round dipped in Vaseline or dipped in wax and then I cut them in half because I don't need a full one to get a fire going. You can fluff them up pretty good. If you split them apart, you get the cotton fibers exposed and then as you could tell, it kind of it goes up pretty good, and I'm just kind of burning some scrap paper that's been sitting here. So, um, anyway, there's that video. Like I said, just want to do my two cents on that fire starter, and I have another fire starter coming. So, um, stay tuned for that video, and thanks for watching.